guys, I've got my August favourites video for you today, as you can see by the title. I actually just filmed this video, but then I didn't like the top or my hair in it, so I'm re-filming it, and yeah, <laughs> diva. I feel like the camera's wonky. So I'm going to show you all the things that I've been loving throughout August and I'm going to start off with makeup. First thing that I've been loving is this Body Shop All-in-One BB Cream. I use this in my back to school tutorials so if you want to see it in action and see like what kind of a coverage it gives, I'll leave a link to that video below for you to watch. But this is basically a colour adapting cream. It starts off white, then it turns into a colour when you start to put it onto your face. I love this for those days where I just want to go outside but I don't want to put a full face of makeup on but I still want a little bit of something on to make me feel a bit less grotty. So I just put a little layer of this on and it makes me feel so much nicer. I would say this is amazing for people who are at school and just want a tiny bit of coverage or for those people who are just starting out with makeup and want to experiment with kind of a foundation that's not a lot of coverage. I feel like this would work on any skin type as well. It doesn't make me too oily and I've got oily skin but I can see it being hydrating on dry skin so yeah I think it would work on a lot of different skin types and give this a whirl if you're looking for a less coverage foundation thing yeah I need to learn some more words I'll put that in my to-do list my next favourite is a step up from that foundation and this is what I go to when I want to put a little bit more coverage on my face but I don't want to go with a full high coverage foundation like my MAC Studio Fix and this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. If you guys have been watching my videos since I first started, I basically only used to do tutorials then which have all been privated because they were gross and my eyebrows look like worms. But I only used to use this foundation and people kept telling me off in the comments for it. But I love this foundation so much and I've rediscovered it lately after not using it for a year probably. It's got the most gorgeous smell. It smells kind of like fruity but it gives a glowy finish. I'm actually wearing it today but I have got powder on. It's kind of a medium coverage foundation that's really dewy and glowy and now that it's getting cooler in England I've been whacking this one back out because so my face isn't as oily as it was when it was really hot. So anybody who's looking for a medium coverage foundation, check this one out. I've rediscovered my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Cool Medium and it's kind of pink toned so it counteracts your dark circles which is what I've been using it for. I wouldn't recommend this for dry skin because it is quite a cakey foundation concealer but it stays in place all day and I'm obsessed with this stuff. Another face favourite has been my MAC blush in the shade Peaches and Cream. This was actually a limited edition in the Sharon Osbourne collection but if they ever re-release it get it. Honestly, it's the most gorgeous blush shade. I've got it on today. I like to use this with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and just put this on the apples of my cheeks and it adds just a nice little natural healthy glow. So if this ever comes back, I would suggest getting it. <laughs> My mascara favourite has been the L'Oreal Miss Manga and I spoke about this in a recent video and said that I didn't used to like it which is so true, I used to hate it but I left it to dry out for a few weeks and now it's like the perfect mascara, it gives separation and volume at the same time so if you've got this and you didn't like it at first leave it alone for a bit and then come back to it and you might like it like I have. My lipstick favourite of the month has been the L'Oreal Collection Privé Lipstick in the shade Eva. I used to talk about the Cheryl one so much which I still absolutely love but when I've got a tan I like the Eva one more. I just find that it more suits like darker skin tones so if you've got a darker skin tone this would be a perfect nudie shade on you. It leans more to the peach side, whereas Cheryl's is more to the pink side. So depending on what you're looking for, there's a peachy one and a pink one available. I just love these lipsticks. They are not too pigmented, so you don't feel crazy wearing them like you would if you were wearing a red lipstick that you have to check all the time. It's just such a low maintenance lipstick and I love it. I love the packaging too. I've got a favourite lip balm of the month and this is the Body Shop Solid Oil Lips. This has got argan oil in so it's super moisturising and hydrating on your lips and mine's got a big crater in and I've only been using this for like a week and a half. <laughs> I'm the fussiest lip balm person ever. I used to be addicted to the Body Shop Lemon Lip Butter but then it got discontinued so I moved on to the Nivea Milk and Honey but I am back 
onto the Body Shop. They've brought this new one out and I just think it's incredible. My lips are so, so, so soft, so if you're looking for something to soften your lips, I would recommend this a lot. Those are all of my makeup favourites. I'm going to move on to skincare. I've got this Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish and it's in the shade, not shade, it's in the scent Orange Flower and Chamomile. This is a limited edition scent and I think that that's the reason why I like it. I actually went and smelt the normal one and I don't like the smell at all. But this one smells like oranges and it's just super nice and fruity. It's really good at breaking down foundation. I use my Garnier Micellar water on my eyes but then I use this on my face in rotation with the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter which I also love and it just breaks down my makeup so 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 well. It's also made my skin a lot softer and I get a lot less spots now and I'm holding this responsible. So if you're looking for a good makeup remover I do suggest this but it is limited edition so if you can find this scent I would go for it now. Soap and Glory actually were doing a three for two in boots last time I went in so I picked up six body washers. That might seem excessive but because I am moving I've got two bathrooms and I need to fill both bathrooms with things and have spares so this was a perfect opportunity to do that. But this is the one that I've been obsessed with. We have this in my shower right now and I just went and got three more because I love it. <laughs> it's the Almond Oat and Brown Sugar scent and it's the Rich and Foamous one. This is my favorite smell probably ever. It smells like cookies and ice cream. Oh my God. It just smells like somebody's baking something amazing and it's so nice. My brother will hate me for saying this, but apparently he said to my mum the other day that he really likes this one because it smells like ice cream. <laughs> so I went and bought him one because I'm a great sister. But if you can check this out, I would recommend it so much. I only ever hear people talk about Sugar Crush, which I've got, but I hate it. It's way too limey and lemony. I've got this for my spare bathroom because I know so many people love it. But for me, Ugh, it's just too, like, too lemony and limey. I also got this one, which is called Foam Call, and to me it smells like fruity mint, which sounds so strange, but it's a really nice smell. It says it's got peppermint, grapeseed, fig, and orange water, and I definitely do smell that. It's such a strange smell because it does smell minty, but it does smell fruity, but I got this to rotate with my one. Just as a little change and who knows I might end up liking it more but I doubt it this is the best ever <laughs> this has turned into a haul I couldn't possibly do my August favorites without mentioning my new phone case this is my new favorite thing in life it's so colorful and it matches my YouTube banner and I'm actually selling this for one month but there are actually only two days left to buy it so if you do want one I will leave the link below but I would get it now because it's never gonna be sold again so yeah. But my favourite thing has been seeing you hashtag your phone cases when they've arrived with Gab Case and I've been looking on Twitter and on Instagram and I just get so excited. I feel like we're best friends and we've got matching phone cases and it's just great. <laughs> so if you do get one, make sure you do that and hashtag your picture with Gab Case because I love seeing them and it's made me so happy. The quality of these is amazing though. I got a Ted Baker phone case and I've only been using it for two months and it's already got the pattern coming off it and I'm gonna take it back into the shop actually because that is just not cool because it was double the price of this one. Polly sent me one of my old YouTube banner and I had it on my phone for an entire year and it didn't chip or anything. So that is how good the quality of them is compared to my Ted Baker one which has fallen apart already. But yeah, I will leave the link below to this phone case and it's not just for iPhones. They do iPods and another phone I think. So yeah, check it out if you're interested but there's two days left. On to favourite YouTubers of the month. Can we just pause and take a second to appreciate Essie Button? I am addicted. I have a problem. I actually went onto her Twitter the other day and I was about to turn on my Twitter notifications for Essie Button because I just want to know exactly when she's uploaded a new vlog because <laughs> obviously it goes through to Twitter when people upload videos and I was about to do it then I was like no that is so creepy 
so I didn't. But we are we are close to that stage. I'm obsessed with her vlog channel and Aslan, her boyfriend, is the funniest person and I just think they would be such a laugh to hang out with. I'm definitely going to leave a link to Estee's main channel and her vlog channel but I am obsessed with her vlog channel. It's like my version of Hollyoaks. I just want to watch it every day and whenever she doesn't upload I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> What do I do with my life? So yeah, go and check it out if you enjoy vlogs. I've got two more YouTube favourites who I think deserve a lot more subscribers so I'm shouting out to the smaller up and coming YouTubers right now. But the first one is my friend Lexi from Beautyosaurus Lex, which I can never say right. One, she's got the best hair on the planet. Two, she's the nicest person ever. Three, she puts so much effort into her channel. I'm gonna stop the whole numbers thing now because that's kind of weird. She studies and works at the side of her YouTube channel and she still manages to put a video up every week which I think is applaudable. I just think that's amazing. She just puts so much effort into her videos and they're so high quality and I just don't understand why she doesn't have more subscribers. So you guys go and subscribe to her and comment on a video that I've sent you. I'm sure she would appreciate that so much and I just think she deserves it. And there are two more girls who I am loving at the minute and they are Lucy and Lydia. They just crack me up so much. They're twins so they just bounce off each other. But I just find their videos so funny and I don't know if they're supposed to be funny but I just find them hilarious. I actually watched a video of them reacting to their old childhood photos and oh my god, I was laughing so much at how much of a show off Lydia used to be. So go and subscribe to them girls because they are so funny and so sweet and so kind and nice and they put so much effort into their videos as well and they deserve it, so yay! If you follow me on Twitter, you will probably already know my favourite TV show for the month of August. I actually watched two seasons in three days so that happened and it's called The Killing. I was about to cancel my Netflix subscription but then it popped up saying you might enjoy or something The Killing and I love murder programs so I was like what is this? I've never heard of this before so I started watching it and I got hooked. It is one of the best like murder mystery programs that I've ever seen. It's so good. You actually don't find out who the murderer is until the end of season two so it always keeps you like wanting more. I'm actually trying to get into season three at the minute and I can't really. I don't think it's as good but season one and two are amazing so if you have Netflix check out The Killing. My favourite songs of the month have been Salute by Little Mix. That song just makes me want to conquer the world. I always listen to it when I'm having like a down day and it just keeps me upbeat and makes me want to win at life. I've also been loving a song called Best of You by the Foo Fighters. That is my sort of music for sure, which people don't really expect, but I love like more rocky music. I will leave a link to those songs below and I've also been obsessed with the band Falling in Reverse. All of their songs are just amazing and I love them. I'm going to do an Essie button and wrap things up here. <laughs> Obsessed! <laughs> but give this video a thumbs up if you want me to carry on with monthly favourites because I never know how many people actually enjoy watching them every month. And comment below your top three favourites of the month, I would love to know and check some new things out. I think when you're watching this I will have moved house, it'll be the day after I've moved so that is so exciting and hopefully I will have been daily vlogging so if you want to head over to my vlog channel now I will leave a link in the down bar. You can check out my moving out vlogs and see what I'm getting up to. There will be a couple more pre-filmed videos on this channel until my internet starts working properly and until everybody has vacated my apartment. I will be doing an apartment tour if you want that. I just need to wait for my sofa to arrive. It's gonna arrive about a week or two later than I move there so yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I don't even know what it smells like but I just, I find the smell so satisfying. It's really nice. It works really nicely as an overall face bronzer. I guess you could mix it with your foundation a little bit as well to darken it up a bit if you want a bronzy glow. But I just use it to contour.